Acanthophis Levis cam. This is uh, a fresh. Uh, happened to get in New Guinea Death Adder, uh, the Levis uh, variety. And this uh, happens to be a, a boy. And. He's busy uh, having a drink, which is perfectly okay after his long journey. See how quickly the tail tapers down and then is uh, sort of on the fat side still? That's absolutely no question a male. Now if we waltz over here to this animal that I've already unpacked, who happens to be in an obscure location at the moment, um, yeah, let's see if we can drag her butt out. She's she's a bit hyper. Uh, see how that tail just sort of dwindles down to nothing? Absolutely the single most thing that you can do to piss a death at her off is touch its tail. See how it just dwindles down to nothing? Uh, if I get her really pissed off again, she'll flatten out. But that's absolutely positively... Uh, a female. So let Okay, as I was saying, let's let her rest. He's done with his uh, drink. So we'll just throw him in this temporary bin. Which is already labeled with the appropriate uh, genus, species, and um, sex. So let's let him sort of settled down after his long journey and tomorrow I'll see if I can get some of these guys to feed and get them wormed and everything else. This is a uh, an Acanthophis rugosus from Papua New Guinea uh, just fresh in from Indonesia yesterday. Um, don't know if it'll feed or not. It, certainly could. And certainly we would like to take this soft approach and not have to tease feed it. But uh, Death adders usually respond very well to being pissed off and they'll uh, strike and hold uh, the thing that's bothering them. Hopefully it's not your finger. These look very viper-like, but death adders are sort of a in between uh, uh, animal, it's clearly an elapid, no question about that, but it has characteristics of your typical viperid. You know, it's an ambush predator, not an active feeder like, you know, a taipan or a cobra that goes out and looks for its meal. Um, its head is viperish, even though it's an elapid. Uh, it has vertical pupils uh, like a viper would have. It also has uh, fangs that are hinged on the maxillary bone and uh, actually uh, uh, can fold in and fold out. Okay, see now we're getting into a classic defensive posture like you're pissing me off buddy when they flatten out uh, they look quite impressive I really have to be on guard with these guys because they do strike quite a distance come on come on it would be so nice if you ate you know I think this is a female uh, uh, we got her to strike well, that's a start there we go. A strike and a hold. Up oh, and a release. With death adders though, if you're persistent, 
generally you can get them to, uh, to accept food this way. But, you know, again, you know, we gotta make it really angry, which is never a good idea when it comes to venomous snakes, but, uh, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this and see if she eats it. Uh, no use aggravating her past this point. She struck it. She held it a little bit and let it go. Not a typical death at her response, but she has a new guest here in America. Okay, the next one we have is the other variety of death adder located in Papua New Guinea. And this is the Lavis variety. And these are sort of the death adders that actually end, live in a swampy area and not a uh, uh, a drier area like they do in Australia. This is a female also, or so I believe. She's a very lovely one too. Hmm. Oh, okay, well there's a couple of good strikes. Problem is, if they've lived in the wild, they're probably lizard feeders, but they do eat uh, the mammals. I should maybe use a stinky little mouse. Uh, well, we, we had a bite, but not uh, anything to write home about. get lucky and she'll hold it and then decide that uh, oh well since I have it in my mouth let me uh, try to eat it Ooh. camera tipping Now once I have them established and they're eating pretty regularly, um, maybe after the next feed or the one after that, um, I'll uh, s slip a rat in there with uh, a worming agent, uh, Panicure, uh, which is the, the drug of choice for snakes. Uh, I will uh, use that first and then if I see any signs that there's a protozoan uh, infection in the digestive tract by a real stinky or slimy stool uh, or even regurgitation, uh, then she'll get another drug uh, called uh, Flagyl um, is the trade name. Uh, which is very good against uh, protozoans and amoebas and um, anaerobic bacteria that you would find in, in a gut somewhere. So let's just uh, quietly let her do her thing and uh, move on to the next critter. Well, this is one of those uh, unusual moments when there's uh, something in the box that uh, I didn't ask for, but is here nonetheless. Uh, I don't know if uh, any of you can identify it just uh, uh, from what you see here, but he's got a gigantic tongue, that's for certain. And I don't know what their disposition's like because this is the first one that I've seen. Very rough scale, and look at the size of that tongue. 
Hi, guy. Are we friendly or not? Look at this. Blah. It's a deflated tire snake. That's what it is. Look at that. It's sort of let the air out. Let's get a look at the head and and see. That is a real cool tongue. Look at that cool tongue. Whoa. Boy, this serpent really speaks with forked tongue. Oh, and there's some eyes. Hello. Okay, folks. It's Acrocordia javanas, uh, javanacus, something like that, or the elephant trunk snake. And this happens to be from Java, Indonesia, and he's a stowaway in my shipment. Uh, I'll have to contact the appropriate authorities um, in the Immigration and Naturalization Service and, and see what to do with this guy. Now, I have a problem because I am ill-equipped to keep this bugger because he's uh, you know fully aquatic eats fish for a living and is wholly nocturnal so this is a problem so I have to come up with something uh, uh, sort of quickly to, uh, to at least uh, keep him wet and happy so uh, let me do that but let me give you the overall look pretty cool looking animal Never, uh, never messed with one, but I really do like that cool tongue he's got. Look at that. That's a giganto tongue. Whoa. It's really forked. He's, seems nice. Doesn't seem too, uh, too creepy. Alright, well, let me, uh, let me try to get him in some water to make him happy.